Hi YouTube, it's Corinne from Florida. I uh, have been road tripping for about five months, no, no, five, five weeks. Yeah, I've been road tripping in my minivan for about five weeks now. It's been a really exciting adventure. It's been really fun. Um, I'm currently in some random hick down in Alabama. And it's a really nice, quiet place. Uh, this is laid back friendly town like where I grew up in and I just needed to escape all the chaos of the city and go to a nice quiet small town so I can relax and lay low and focus on my work because I got a lot of work to do <laughs> so I just need a library that has a good strong Wi-Fi connection and um, but I have been traveling for a while uh, when we left us off, I was in Georgia. I was in the northeast Georgia mountains. Well, I was actually northwest, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I went to Fort Mountain. It was in Chatsworth, Georgia, and I hiked up that mountain, like six-mile hike up the mountain, and it was beautiful. It was just so breathtaking and exhilarating being at the top of, the, of that mountain. It was, it was like the most difficult hike of my life. It was so physically demanding, but it was so rewarding. It was awesome. And uh, so I, I even like drove up the mountain. There were, there were a few mountains up there. Um, drove up and down it and just had fun. Um, so then after Dalton, Georgia, I went to Birmingham, Alabama. And I stayed in Birmingham for all of two days. I just really fucking hated it. Um, but I did a lot of sightseeing there. It was a really historic place. It was really, uh, I learned a lot about Birmingham. It was like, you know, the place where all the civil rights movements went down and the police were just fucking assholes to the people back then in 1963 and they still are today in Birmingham. They're just pulling people over left and right. And, um, so I went to the art museum, which was free, the Birmingham Art Museum, and then I went to the Birmingham Civil Rights Museum, which was also free, so that was awesome, and I went to the Bo Birmingham Botanical Garden, which was also free. There weren't that many flowers there in, uh, in the winter, but it was, it was still really beautiful, and there was like some sort of anime photo shoot going on there at the botanical garden. So there were a ton of kids, uh, like high school kids, dressed up in cosplay, dressed up as anime characters, taking pictures of the botanical garden. It was so cool, so so cool to watch. It was like being in a cartoon. Um, so yeah, th those are the things I did in Birmingham, Alabama for the two days that I was there. Uh, you know, there were also uh, some historic parks with like some sculptures and statues and stuff. Um, but my overall experience there was just completely horrible. Uh, it was just way too dangerous to even walk down the street alone during the daytime. And um, way too many people harassing me left and right. And it had nothing to do with living in a van. It was just constant... <sighs> I. Wow. I, I think if anybody is going to Birmingham, Alabama, you should just drive directly to the place because, you know, parking is free on the weekend. So just park your car directly at the building and go straight inside. Do not walk. Don't think, oh, it's a nice uh, day. I'm just going to take a stroll, walk a mile to this, around this block. No, nope. no, nope. you can't do that. Can't walk alone. Walk around Birmingham, whether it's day or night. No. <laughs> so that actually made me feel a little bit better about moving to New York City because although everybody says it's so dangerous there, I was still able to walk alone at least during the daytime. <sighs> okay, um, is there anything else I encountered? Um, mountains, art museums, uh... I don't know. I don't know. I, I decided not to. I decided to take all your guys' advice, and I did not get my van fixed. You know, I had an oil leak and a transmission leak. I decided not to get that fixed because 
I don't want to spend $400 for a radiator. That happened to my grandma. She had an oil leak, transmission leak, had to spend $400 for a radiator. So I just got some fluids. I'm going to top it off once I figure out where the, the reservoir is to put the fluid in. I don't want to, you know, i got to be really careful. I don't want to put it in the wrong compartment. Um, and um, so yeah, today I'm just going to work my ass off on these articles. And then once the library closes, I'm just gonna lounge around and do nothing and maybe go for a skate. It's, yeah, I'm just gonna chill, take it easy, lay low. And then this weekend, I guess we'll go to a, head, head to Tennessee this weekend. All right, so uh, have fun everybody. And I'll keep you posted on my travels.